Hello, welcome. Hi, I'm author and coach Grace Rolson. Are you in a high conflict custody battle with a narcissist or are you going to family court? Might you end up in a custody war? This is a training video for my 20 question attorney interview worksheet I created for moms who are having trouble picking an attorney, interviewing attorneys, maximizing their legal consultations to get their burning legal questions answered. And you want to get them answered from an attorney who knows your judge and is practicing family law. So this is a training video so that you can be proactive, get prepared, make sure you have the right lawyer, get legal advice. You can use this guide to help you ask prospective lawyers the right questions. So the questions in my Get the Right Lawyer Guide are important and essential. And if you bought this program, you get instant access to the Google Doc, which is updated, that has my full Get the Right Lawyer Guide. You will learn my reasoning as to why you need the right lawyer for your custody case against a narcissist. And this is just the 20 question attorney interview worksheet that you can print out and prepare before you talk to these attorneys on phone, on Zoom, in person. This is a handy tool that can save you time and money because you're asking the right questions up front. So being prepared is key. Show up with your guide with this 20 question worksheet and be ready to take charge of the consultation because your attorney works for you. You're hiring them. So you're interviewing them for the job. So being ready is important. Knowing what questions to ask can reduce your stress. So read the introduction that goes with this first or find that video because I did read the whole guide. And it'll help you set the framework up to do the consultations. Don't be stuck without the right legal representation for any family court war that you may be going through or going to. Find out what your options are by getting a few legal consultations. That's my wisdom. Know what questions to ask. I didn't know. Now I know. Take notes of your conversations because if you're emotional if you are stressed you're going to forget what was said how much the retainer was if they're even available so you need to take the notes so that you can sleep on it after talking to a few more and make the right decision and you know contrast contrast can bring you clarity so listening to three different lawyers strategies and approach to your case can help you see which strategy or lawyer's uh, strategy or thoughts really resonate with you. So this is instant access when you buy this online. And if you are willing and ready to learn, I am here to teach and mentor. My background is loving and leaving an alcoholic. And then I found myself in a 12 year custody battle war. I've had three different attorneys. So um, you can look for my books for moms, but just the first disclaimer, this is shared survivor wisdom. Take what's helpful, leave the rest. It's not legal advice. My joke that I say is the only legal advice I give is to go get legal advice. And if you don't like the legal advice your lawyer's giving you, if your lawyer ends up being a narcissist that you didn't recognize, or, you know, identify when you retain them, it's very, very difficult to be burned at both ends. One by a narcissistic lawyer billing you the billable hour and using up the whole retainer fee within a month before you even go to a hearing and having an ex that's a narcissist who won't pay child support. You don't want to be burned at both ends by a narcissist. So maybe think about switching lawyers. I do have a blog on my website. So all the blogs and PDFs and guides are in my five books for moms. Here's four of them. I say, you know, be willing to learn the lesson and change what you can. And we can learn, heal, and outgrow the narcissist. Start with co-parenting with a narcissist, seven self rules to stay sane. Before you move to how to fight a narcissist in family court and win, super smart strategies for success. Then my newest ones, the how to survive a custody battle with a narcissist when the family courts forced you to co-parent and the newer, newer one, tame the narcissist, 10 keys for better co-parenting to create peace, 
and protection using strategy and skillful means. That has all of my newest things. So I say pick up the books if you want some of these and you can uh, take notes as you're reading the book or a couple of them are on Audible. If you don't have time to read and you're driving for an hour, you could be learning and picking up tips, tools, and strategies along the way. So this is my Get the Right Lawyer Guide if you're going to family court with a narcissist. So don't be intimidated by talking to lawyers. Don't dismiss the value of a free consultation with a family law lawyer. lawyer. Also, don't overlook the value of a paid legal consult with a top family law lawyer, especially if you're going up against a narcissist. I created this helpful Get the Right Lawyer Guide after talking with thousands of struggling moms. I realized they really needed help interviewing attorneys. They also needed help maximizing their legal consultations to be valuable assets and tools for gaining perspective, knowledge, and insight into their case. When I was going through the family court custody battle, I learned many useful for later things by talking to five different attorneys. Each consult gave me new ideas. I understood that different approaches could change the outcome of my case. The only legal advice I give my coaching clients is to get legal advice. And now I say it's wise to get a few narc experts, narcissistic abuse experts, opinions on your case, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist. It's a smart strategy to get perspectives. Expert opinions can become options later if and when needed. I encourage my clients to do three legal consultations at least to contrast and compare. We have to know our options and think about what we want to do in our custody case. And only we can gauge what is best for us and who could best represent us. We make these decisions in our court cases. And only we can make these decisions if we know what our options are. So that's why we do these, our due diligence, as I call it. And we do these interviews um, pre-planning ahead of time, not like a, a, a week before we have to go to court. So hi, I'm Grace. I'm a mother, survivor, thriver, certified life coach, and the award-winning author of several books especially my um, How to Survive a Custody Battle book, because I often see that when getting an attorney, it can deter a narcissist. And I really want to help your custody case. So use my 20 wants list to prepare for the legal questions. Uh, know what it is you want from the judge, what you need ordered from the courts that can be solutions for your case. And I do those consultations uh, with my 20 wants list. So don't delay, do your legal consultations. And um, when you're dealing with the narcissist, your knowledge and your preparedness are your power. So um, obviously take what you like, leave the rest. You can go back to my disclaimer. What worked for me may not work for you. I've seen very few cases where getting a lawyer isn't a good idea. And it's usually... They just don't get the lawyer until the last minute, but they've already uh, interviewed attorneys knowing what one they want to go with when it's time for a trial. So I don't recommend going at it alone. So read that whole guide or watch that video. So these, these questions, if I guide, you want to ask if the call is confidential. Usually they run your name through, make sure there's not a conflict of interest. Quite often, our custody case is only as good as our attorney. You may have to provide your full name to get the per perspective lawyer so that they can search their database and make sure they didn't already consult with your ex. So you want to make sure they pass the bar exam, they have a valid legal license to practice law in your state. I've seen some cases where that's not the case, and they have to provide confidential services and screen for any conflicts. So do your due diligence when you're talking. Know, know that they have the right licenses and credentials and they're actively practicing in family court with your judge. And if you read my guide, you'll see why your judge matters. This isn't something usually done by a jury. So the tip is you can also ask 
lawyers and attorneys you interview, if there are any good local mediators, conciliators, or parenting coordinators, PCs, who are exceptionally good for resolving high conflict cases in mediation and negotiation. I added this tip, so you're listening to the updated version because boy, this has come in really helpful to avoid legal expenses and family court trials and failures. So this might be helpful in your custody case if you can, um, if it spans multiple years or keep screaming towards a trial, finding the name of a PC can be helpful. There are alternatives to fighting on opposite ends, going to multiple time-consuming family court healing, hearings, or repeatedly litigating a case and enduring expensive family court trials. No, there's other options. You can learn about my skillful means method as an alternative. And no, you will need to accumulate leverage. And that's something you can ask in this guide. We're going to go through all 20 questions. There's bonus questions now. So make sure you read that introduction thoroughly to know why you're asking these questions. And remember to get more than one opinion if you've got a complex child custody case. And these consultations can be very insightful. You can print out like three to five of the guides. And just a disclaimer, again, it's only for self-help. I'm not a legal professional, so I can't advise you how to handle your child custody case or child support case. I can't advise you on how to handle the attorney-client relationship either. If you can find other experts and solid guidance and advice in this area or arena, please do so. I always tell moms to get support. This worksheet is what I use to do my interviews, so please take what's helpful, useful, valuable, leave the rest. So this is the 20 question attorney interview uh, worksheet. And I always say, when in doubt, call your lawyer and ask questions. If you don't know what to send as a reply, ask your lawyer. This is why having a lawyer matters to uh, mom's being attacked with post-separation abuse or what I call co-parenting abuse. But it's important that everything you're doing is good for your case and not harming your case. And the only people that would know are family law lawyers who know your judge and have seen what's being used against the protective, loving, caring parent or where moms are making mistakes. And these are part of the questions. So when you buy the program, you'll see it's like, I don't know how many pages. It's a lot to read, but it's also on video. You'll find links to watch it on video. And then you'll see down at the end of that Google Doc, and we keep it a Google Doc uh, because there's always updates. Family Court hopefully is going to get an overhaul and reform. So we want to keep this updated for you. Thank you.